Hi right, YouTubers, Benjamin here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Cyclone um, PCB factory, CNC, mill, whatever. Um, I sold a couple of these on eBay. If you want one, buy one please. Support my business. Anyway, I uh, just playing around with some plexiglass or Lexan or whatever it is. Not really sure, but just going slow because I already broke another tip again, damn it. Drill bits are not cheap, and this is the third one I broke. But anyway, I'm just fooling around with some meter mounts. Hopefully, you can see it after a second. I'm playing with a program called BCNC, and I like it. Um, I uh, This meter mount that I made, I drew it in FreeCAD and exported it as a DXF file and then I put it in PyCam but PyCam um, I probably don't know what I'm doing but it appears to have a limited number of options like I want to make it travel from here to here really fast um, because it's doing nothing here so I need to fix that but there's um, um, right now I just have it at a feed rate of 10 that is a uh, NTM or Turnergy Pop Drive 5050, powered by a 12 volt battery with a um, 100 amp ESC. And one thing you want to do if you're using an ESC uh, to power your RC motor, you know, version of it or conversion, um, you need to make sure you put on a, a big heatsink on there. Otherwise, the one that comes with it. That's like this, that's got the plastic shit on there, which is dumb. Um, but that plastic stuff is on there, uh, you're gonna burn out your heat sink in five minutes. Because you're not getting any wind or anything across it, there's no way for it to cool off. So, but it's pretty efficient. This thing is very cool to the touch. It just kinda sucks that I have to use that and an RC receiver and an RC transmitter in order to use the motor, so. I am contemplating a different method because this is a bit of ridiculous. I kind of don't like that. But anyway, um, as I go along here, I'm going to go over some more tutorials or how to's or whatever of how to use the BC and C and take stuff that you've done design in um, FreeCAD or other DXF files. And it appears to me that with. Um, uh oh. can't do that okay anyway um, I just learned that with BCNC that not only can I put in NGC or G code files but I can also upload XTL files as well as DXF and SVG and I can go through all the tools um, and I can actually set all the specifications and generate G code from the DXF uh, SVG and STL files which that's pretty cool because if I can do that, that's uh, that's pretty freaking awesome. Anyway, yeah, it's going really slow, but you know I'm still learning. You see that I got a clamp here to hold it down and painter's tape, and that seems to work. This is fun. Leave uh, leave comments if you care. Ask questions. I try to get back to you as soon as I can. Usually it's about 24 hours or less. Um, subscribe, share, all that other good shit. Thank you.